Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to be sharing with you the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary haul that we have. And how long have we been meaning to film this uh, for? Since we got back basically, which is actual fact we got back a month ago yesterday. Did we? Yeah, so it's been a while. And um, uh... we've had the bags behind the sofa and we haven't <laughs> unpacked them because we were wanting to share them with you. We just plan to get back. And, and do, do the video it and it just, just hasn't has, happened. No, no, exactly so. And we also thought we would share with you some other merch that we've seen. We've recorded some videos. So this isn't just going to be a sofa vlog. It's going to be around the parks. We thought we'd like combine it, didn't we? Yeah, insert some clips of what we saw there. Um, there was actually quite some, some nice 30th bits and pieces. I have to say, having gone to both Orlando and also Disneyland Paris, I think probably the 30th, I actually... I prefer. But there was a lot more I found I liked than yeah. I did the 50th. Now it could be there was a lot sold out the 50th. We may not have seen all of yeah, it. Yeah, that's so, very true. Um, but no, what we saw in Paris was uh, nice. So yeah, I'll be inserting some clips as well, won't you? And we're also going to talk about snacks as well. Yes. Yes. We'll talk about our favourite snacks that we had and also oh, yes. include some videos of those. Yep. So it's going to be a little bit, is it called a hybrid video? I don't know, it's a bit oh, of, well, I a guess bit you, of both. you could use hybrid because obviously it is a bit of a mix, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with my ears. I think mainly we can't do a haul video because we didn't really buy we that much, did we? We, much, we didn't spend yeah. too much money. These are the softest ears I have ever felt. Do, how comfortable are they when you wear them? Because always I Dis can feel them. Disney ears are always famous, aren't my they? My for... most favourite ears to wear are my cheapy Primark <laughs> ears for £3. <laughs> I seriously forget I have them on. I have to, Aid has to remind me to take them off to go on to like coasters. I oh, see so you going on Space Mountain and you've got them on still. Yeah, I just don't know I'm wearing them. Whereas yeah, the Disney ears, they they have improved over the years. Over the years. <laughs> but they still pinch. Mm. I find the pinch anyway. I don't know if anyone else finds that. Um, maybe I've got a fat head. Um, but no, and the ears are so much cheaper than Florida as well. They Can are, you remember? They're they they 23 20, euros? I think they're, I think they're 24, 23, something 24, like 99, they're something so like that. so soft. I love them. Yeah. Whilst we're talking about ears, we are actually doing a giveaway at the moment over on our Instagram. And we've included some ears and we've got pins and we've got some of the yep. um, Florida stuff as well. Yeah, there's a 50th anniversary pin. There's Joffrey's coffee. Joffrey's coffee. There's H2O. H2O. So go and check out Ainley's to Disney on Instagram. I'll leave a link to Instagram below. Uh, one of the posts you'll see it there. It says Disney giveaway and the details, details on there how to join. It closes on May the 5th at 9 pm. So if you haven't already, go in there. And also don't forget. It's the giveaway was to um, thank everyone for the thousand subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe to YouTube if you do want to enter. We just never got around to doing it when we got back. <laughs> it's kind of a pattern, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's look at the cookie tin. We did buy quite a few gifts as well. Um, like we got your mum and dad one yep. of these because they looked after the house. They always come and stay in the house when we're away. And we also got my sister one because she always has our dog. Isn't that cute? We weren't as fussed with the cookies. It was the tin that sold it, wasn't it? I think it was shining a little was bit it? on the light. Was it though. £12.99? €12.99. And we finally gave in and opened it last night, we didn't did, we? Yes. Yeah. They're really nice because they're individually. Yeah, you get like five in a pack. And I think there's one, two, there's 12 packs. And they've all got like little Disney shapes on. Isn't that cute? And they're really thin cookies, which I really like, little mm. butter cookies. So if you see these in the parks, I really recommend them. It's a nice gift as well. Do you want to do your pins? Yep, we will do. Okay, so yeah, we also got, to, or I got some pins, should I say. You're not one that really goes for pins, do you? So um, I think um, Lisa was, um, we were chatting about this and she said the fact that if you see a pin, get one, because they're sometimes they go, people, they go fast. Yeah, so this this pin here, this isn't the 30th one, but it is just a Donald 2022. I do love Donald. Don't see too many pins with Donald on, actually. So He's not the main um, man, that's fine. No, I mean, because I saw the 2022. There were quite a few of the 2022 ones, different characters. Which is quite nice, because when we were there in 2021, we didn't see a single 2021 didn't see anything. pin. anything, no. So no, that so was quite, quite nice. Chuffed. Also, just wanted to say that, did we get this one as well in the same store? I think we did, I think we, didn't did we? Yeah. we managed to find our favourite place for pins and the only place where we saw the 30th pins was the merch store in Frontierland opposite Big Thunder Mountain. I did see a couple elsewhere but I think I saw some lot like, behind a counter oh, in a okay. container. They were so few and far between but we went into the Frontierland. Well I'm just going to show this one first. This is... Mm, that was the first one you this bought. The first... Okay so there were some 30th. This was the one 
I think everyone has actually seen, and it's the goofy pin. I don't know if you can see that there. The thing um, we were finding, because we were going into the store daily, weren't we? Yeah. And like we grabbed one that day, and then the next day or the afternoon, there weren't any. No, I was seeing this one up here, and there were like a few of them there. Um, and I think it was, was it our second to last? No, it was our last morning. Was it our last morning? I can't remember. Anyway, it was near the end. Of, um, you, uh, you a friend, said... My friend Karen said that they'd bought the Chip and Dale pin, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, and, and we said, I wasn't going to go and check again because we had checked, I think, every day and we'd and we gone into most it. stores and things like that and um, we did actually go in. It was either our last day or things like that. I think like it that. was the last day. And we were lucky. There was one left. Because there was literally one left and it was the Chip and Dale 30th. The cast member did say that as soon as they come in, they're going back out again. So yeah. if you see something, and I think that's the same. There's something else I want to show you actually in a moment. I'll tell you about that in a sec. There was something a cast member said in, I remember it was the Grand Floridian store, wasn't it? There was a card, a cardigan that yes. I liked. It was okay. I wasn't going to get it. But um, she this actually said... Florida. <clears throat> sorry, yeah, Florida. And she said, you know what? If you're ever unsure, you can always buy it. You keep the receipt. And you can bring it back. So always remember, even if you think twice about it, you can always take it back. So of course they're getting the sale. So yeah. Um, but yeah, if you see something, and you are thinking, oh, should I? Shouldn't I? I would. I would get it. Where are you going to put your pins? They're going to go on our pin board oh, on, the, on stairs. the stairs. Yep. So that'll add to that. And I've also oh. got my Disney World ones as well to go on there. My apart from my oh actually do you want to show your t-shirt next? Yeah, I yeah. would actually. Yeah. There, oh. with regards to the thirtieth merch. It's all like the purpley colour, obviously. So if you don't like that colour, you're stuffed a bit, really, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I didn't buy any clothing. I wasn't a fan of it, to be honest. No, I did see I did see this T-shirt. I don't I... think you'll be wearing it again, will you? Well, this is really weird. I mean, we're not going to be going back. You see there's the 30th logo of the castle. I think it's, it does say on there, Disneyland Paris, 30 years of magic. Um, now... It's actually been washed twice since coming back. On 30. And it's we never tumble anything. And it shrunk both times. So it's, it's a crop it's top It's kind now. of like, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit uh, disappointing. I mean, it's a case of... I probably could wear it now, actually, couldn't you I? You probably could, actually, yeah. You but won't be I like, I like the T-shirt, so no, it's nice, but... Yeah, uh, it's a bit of a shame, really, wasn't it? Mm. Can you remember how much it was? Was it 25 well, it was euros 25 or something? 25 again. It was, it was, it was quite the, the, pr the price of t shirt I mean, again, it's not cheap. But then if you go into most high street stores or go online, you can buy a t-shirt for £20 without any real, nothing kind of special. So The thing that I think I'm, apart from my ears, what I'm most excited about. What, the crisps? Oh, I know there's something else on the show. It was oh. these. I saw these. I think it was on Eleanor Dreaming years and years ago. I'm sure it was their video. Have they even been to Disneyland Paris? Maybe I'm dreaming it. I know I've seen it on somebody's. And I wrote it down and I've never seen well, them They're bigger than since. I remember. These are Mickey Mouse glasses. And again, they're in our favourite store in Disneyland Paris, which is the store opposite Big Thunder Mountain. I love that tinted green. What's on the front of them? Because I can't remember. Mickey Mouse. Ah. €3.99. We picked up four for our kitchen and then we were talking about it and on the last day we wanted to take some back. We were going to take some back for a couple of friends and then some for my sister. And then we went in the store, there wasn't a single one. There had been loads. Gone. They were gone. And so again, if you see something, buy it. So thankfully we bought them for ourselves. It wasn't like we were thinking, you know what you think? Oh, I'll do it on my last day. I'm so glad we picked up four. Yeah, so we do have the four. I like the glasses, They're actually. really nice. We can finally use them now. They've been wrapped behind the sofa. Yeah, they have. All these I, I like those. I do as well. I think that's really cute. Now, I'm, I'm, those who know us, I love a travel mug. Um, and... Uh, at some of the kiosks, uh, it's not all of them though, is it? Was it? Where's the one that we got the simbatosis from? The ones with from? the sweet treats. With the sweet treats. So it's not all the ones, but where they have like the sweet treats and things like that, you could get a uh, a travel mug, thirtieth. Uh, um, but you could buy it on its own. I think it was eleven dollars on its own, or no, it was fourteen. Fourteen ninety nine. You paid. No, no, it was fourteen on its own, but with a drink, it was fifteen. Oh, okay. I'm sure that was. I forgot those prices wrong. I'm sorry, but it wasn't much more. So I thought we well, may as well get hot chocolate. And she was very kind because the hot chocolate's coming really They're tiny. They're quite diddy. She actually put, I think, at least two in there, so it was a full cup. So for fifteen dollars, got two hot chocolates and the travel mug, and it did keep it really hot. 
Yeah, you're long. So it's with it, not it is not leak proof. So don't turn it over. It's you, not an ideal for you, the plug. You said to me, "Can we test it?" I wanted to test it. <laughs> so yeah. I did, and then it it, it, it dripped out. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, I really love that. Actually, it's just a nice kind of keepsake. I do love uh, a travel mug, um, as if people do watch our vlogs or know. Uh, we've got some from Disney as well, haven't we? That we've mm. we've. Uh, Let's over the years. Um, with regards to mugs, I know there is a Starbucks 30th mug and I think it came out about three days after we'd been yeah. in the park. So yes. we didn't get to even see them, let alone um, try and find one to buy one. Um, there was a lot of really nice merch. We were quite tempted. There was some really cute tableware that we mm. picked up. And then, you, th you know, when you think, do I need it? Um, there were other ears. I could have. I loved the other ears, actually the planer ears, but I decided not to get those. I think, in regards to things like bags as well, there were rucksacks there, but they were actually they were quite nice rucksacks, mm -hmm. weren't they? Um, for the thirtieth, I was sort of quite impressed with the actual overall overall look. There were some stuff there I wouldn't. Um, was there also some sports merchandise I can't as well? I don't know if we got any photo, but I'm sure there was like some basketball. Mm -hmm. I don't um, remember that, but we didn't see the spirit 30th. jerseys. I know no. people have been looking for those. We didn't see any of those. No. But even just things like nice tins with hot chocolate in. And you, we've already got things like that. And you know when you're so tempted, but you think, I don't need any more. And also, where's it going to go? Yeah. I think perfect for gifts. Yeah. Uh, or really if you've got nice loads gifts. of room, or you need something like that, great. But uh, yeah. we've we've kind of collected those kind of things over <laughs> over the time we've but got our... There was some nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I was quite... I was, I was impressed. And also, with the shops being open all the time now. Yes. As well. So when we were there in November, it was like World of Disney wasn't open until five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so it was really nice if you'd kind of like been in the park, you could come back and you could actually wander through the, st the, the store on the way back. Um, I think it is like official. We haven't actually started sharing our Disneyland Paris vlogs. We've got a few no. more of Disney World and then they will take over. I have officially fallen in love with Disneyland Paris. Yeah, I, I know this isn't talking about, this is more of a haul and things mm, like that. But I just wanted to say that. I Yeah, I'm, I'm really... I feel so relaxed there. Yeah, and I think each of the parks we've been to, each one is a little bit different. I like the slower Which pace. is nice. And it does remind me of of uh, California in some ways. I think because the parks are together, and in mm. California you've got... Is, is it called Disney Springs still in? Downtown, downtown Disney. Di downtown Disney in California. Because you've got it all in walking distance, same with Paris, mm. there's just something about that that is just really really nice um just a few more things to show uh, we did our usual we bought loads of lays um we the bolognese i think is our favorite flavor of crisps i still like the but the barbecue for me is my favorite but these are lovely these bolognese but what we do now is we buy them at the services don't we because they're double the size and half the price practically i think these were three dollars were they for the big bag and i think something. it's 145 grams so it's a reasonable size and now we've been bringing them back as gifts for other people as well yeah so yeah in the parks i think they're five dollars for like a 90 gram bag so mm. it's definite to one if you're driving or you go to the shops to go and pick up much cheaper and i also bought some postcards as well um i am a journaler and i like document our trips i do scrapbooking and that so if you're into that kind of thing i'll leave a link to my paper channel below it's only paper and it's where i document our disney trips and other things and so i bought myself a postcard to pop in my journal and then i've also been buying these as well to send to other crafty disney friends i like that one i really like that one and then we picked up that one, which I might pop in a frame. Mm. I thought that was really cute. But um, two ninety nine for that one. And I think these are, oh yeah, they're all one euro. So if you are one to document your trips, it's really quite nice to pick up a postcard, mm. I think. I think that was it in regards to the haul, wasn't it? We yeah. didn't um, We didn't go crazy. We didn't go crazy. I think sometimes also if you've been to the park a couple of times, we, we didn't really buy much of the times before, did we? But um, no, it's good. still... A skirt that's haunting me. I see it every time. It's 50 euros. It's Animal. I was gonna say Animal Kingdom. It's Lion King. I love it. It's a Mickey on it, isn't it? Yeah, I re and I keep thinking about it, and I've seen it since our first trip. Is it gonna be? Wasn't there something in Walt Disney World that you there was a similar thing that you liked and liked, and then you never saw it again? I don't know, but I really like it. But I just think 50 euros for a cotton thin cotton skirt's a lot of money. Mm. I do like the matching t-shirts. 
<laughs> anyway, maybe we... next time. Maybe get... your birthday. Yeah, we're gonna. It was my birthday. Oh, we're gonna. Maybe the next birthday. <laughs> right. So let's talk snacks. Yep. There was a good selection. Something else we found is that all the little places where they have the snacks, they seem to change each time, don't they? Yeah. We didn't get our Simba toasty. No, we didn't see that anywhere, did no, we? So. So, but it was fine because we got to try other things. What was your favourite? Um, well, actually, in fact, I'm going to talk my worst to start off with. Go on, then. Is that all right? Yeah. Because then we can end on a positive okay. as well. Okay. We'll get the worst out of the way. There we, was only one that we didn't like. There was only one, and we went to. Um, it was cool, the cool, cool stop. Cool stop. Where they used to sell the Mickey Simba. It's opposite the Pizza Outpost. And we picked up the the are they called the celebration waffles. Mm, the fiftieth. The fiftieth, which have got cream and marshmallows. It's three little Mickey waffles. We'll come to that it? in a moment. Yeah. But it was also it was the the Bainet. It's like a big Mickey-shaped donut. Now, those who've had the Bainets in Orlando... And um, Disneyland and Paris. Disneyland, Paris. Um, no, Disneyland California. Disneyland in California. They're, the Bainets are like like two, three inches. And they're... They're squidgy. They're squidgy. Oh, they're so really, they're good. Donuts, but nicer. They're warm. light. They're warm. They're just so tasty. Um, this Bainet was like... Huge. The size of my head, almost. <laughs> a Mickey one. Looked it, cute. It looked nice, but it had just come out of the fridge. It had chocolate inside, it had Nutella inside Once it. you got to the Nutella, it was okay. It was very, oh, one. Now, whether it was just the fact it was, it just come out of the fridge, I don't know that's how they're supposed to be served or not. I know others that have tried them and said they absolutely loved it. Oh, but really? for us, for me, it was almost like over here in the UK, do you know sometimes you buy a pack of donuts from a supermarket and you've left them a few days and they've gone a bit dry? Um, it tasted to me a little bit like that. It was too like solid solid yeah ice cold obviously because it's been in the fridge and it was just too doughy there was too much of it before once you got to the chocolate it was okay that broke it up a little bit but when you were like just eating an ear for example yeah it was quite hard going wasn't it yeah so just when you're just eating the same if, thing if you've had it please let us know did you either think the same were we unlucky did yours come out the fridge? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, someone else I've heard said they came out from the fridge. Mm, they just so, lose their, their softness, though, when they're know, refrigerated. Just, unless it is something completely different, and we're just trying to compare it to, like, a donut that we'd be yeah, used to true. having. So donuts over here, kind of quite soft and fluffy, generally, mm. aren't they? The Mickey waffles, though, because oh, we had the those Mickey at waffles. the same time. The celebration ones. Um, they were nice. They weren't quite like just the Mickey waffles that you get. Um, we got a win the is it the windmill? Yeah, the old mill. They were a little mill. bit different. The old mill, sorry. Yeah, I think little... it's because they had the cream rather than Nutella. Yeah, and it was the squirty cream. So it kind of like we were taking our time a little bit. So of course we were eating the or trying to eat the. We, wa we walked somewhere to go and eat them. Yeah, and as people know, the squirty cream does actually dissolve. So mm -hmm. it was nice to start with. Um, enjoyed it. Yeah. Not, nothing they to, looked really cute. They 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 were nice, but I would say if I was to choose between that and the normal. Mickey waffles, it would be the Mickey waffle I'd go for every time. With Nutella. With Nutella which they are still selling, but it's in studios. Yes. It's not in Disneyland Park at the moment. Not at it's the moment. Studios. This was March, it could well have changed again. They seem to change things around, don't they? Mm -hmm. So it could be they, they appear somewhere else yes. another time. So um Talking of the old mill, when we were there, again, I don't know if it's changed, this was March, they were selling mini waffles. They were like little round waffles. And there was a or few pancakes. of them. Yeah, pancakes. Pancakes. Sorry, yeah, pancakes. Little mini crepes. And they, I had them with Nutella, but you could have them with sugar. And they, I think they were my favourite snack. They were really nice. And they, they were, were hot. Th this, this is, you say they were like crepes, but they weren't like the French crepes where no. they're flat they were more like mini little american yeah pancakes. tiny little ones you know ones that got a little bit of like bit of fluff bit of fluff to them mm. kind of thing yeah they so, were completely flat so no that they were they lovely were with really the nutella good, yeah and they were nice because you could just like eat one at a time oh they were lovely really easy to eat yeah so that was that was that your favorite yeah yeah I, I think so do you know what i'm actually thinking because i don't think they offer nutella in the states with the waffles and i'm actually wondering about taking you know you can get little like tiny little tubs of Nutella like the little travel ones almost I'm thinking about taking some with me so I can put them on my waffle over there because I really do love Nutella with a waffle mm. oh with fruit as well yeah. oh, actually they do it's Sleepy Hollow because they have the berries yes. with the waffle but yeah. it's not Mickey shaped no no so decisions decisions I think my favorite snack has to be the it's not called the Dole Whip is it but it was the pineapple mm. pineapple whip 
This place was closed a lot. I think we only saw it open once, didn't we? Yeah, and those who are fans of Dole Whips, I think you would love this. It was, was it five or six euros? Larger than the American but it was Dole larger. Whips. It was, now when we have our Dole Whips, we have them with the fruit juice, don't we? Yeah, we have so a float. We have a float. So this wasn't a float, it was just the ice cream. But it almost had a, it was a bit more like a, it was ice cream, but it had more of a sorbet feel to it. Mm. It was actually really quite light. It was lovely, we it shared was one. It was so tasty. It was mm. fresh, it was almost like fruity, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was opposite Hakuna Matata, if you know where that restaurant is. And then we, Hakuna Matata was closed, so we used the seating there, yeah, didn't I we? Yeah, I can't from the name of it actually now, the place where I it was. I don't know, I'll find it though and put but, a clip um, But that, that was nice. And also the same place, we didn't try these, but they were selling chicken... Mm, um, little with, bites. Little bites, little chicken bites in, in a cone. They look which quite looked nice. quite tasty actually we as just, well. We didn't try them. We, we'd, we'd already eaten, hadn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had, yeah. But no, the, the pineapple whip was really really tasty i'd say if you're there that is a definite must um it's uh, that was probably my favorite okay um you were going to talk about the fact of savory snacks as well i yeah i don't i don't i prefer savory over sweet i was really really disappointed that the there was lots of savory options that weren't available or there just did, seemed to be a lack of savory options i did love the pretzel sandwich in market street deli on I wish main I'd street had yours. Um, there were two options, and they're both they're really big as well. We had them for our like tea time, our dinner time one evening, and they are Mickey shaped. They're really cute. I had the roasted vegetable. I think it's actually called. It's like with salad. I think it's called vegetable. Did it have coleslaw in it as well, or some kind of? No, cabbage? it had like um, cabbage and like relish and mm. all that. It was so delicious. It was quite sweet, wasn't it? I think, or I not? Know, or... Not really. It was vegetables. Okay. And things. Uh, and cheese, cheese was in it as well. And you went for the meat version, didn't you? Cheese and Mine was ham. just like cheese and ham, so it's like almost a cheese and ham pretzel. Well, not a pretzel, but it was a pretzel bum. Um, again, really huge. Mm, um, very mine, mine, I felt it was nice, but it was just, I think, because of its size, I could have probably eaten half of it and half later. It could have probably done me for. The vegetable one definitely had more flavour, didn't it? Yeah, it did. When I tasted yours, I, I remember it being. Yeah. The it was really I would nice. I would have chosen that one again, I think, next time. Yeah. There is actually something we were gonna say, and this is talking about the um the deli. Is it the deli? On oh, Main Street. Yes, on Main Street. When we went uh at the end of the year, we loved our croque monsieurs. Still selling them, but they weren't selling them until eleven AM. They're not selling anything savoury before eleven now in there which yes, is it's... such a shame because they've got some really nice options and they've stopped the big baguettes as well the cheese and ham baguettes they're not there i think the pretzel buns yep, have replaced the those being... um but again i guess things just change it's i guess it's nice to have a variation but yeah. i would have liked to have seen a savory option in the morning i think also like the baguette you almost want to have something you know that you you'll go to mm. isn't it as well the case of I like love the baguettes so the baguette is really nice that's mm. there it's very similar to the one in epcot in the um france pavilion very just trying nice. to think of what other snacks we actually had we kind of covered that with with the snacks we spoke about oh we the... had a pizza we oh, had a little yes. mickey pizza from the pizza outpost yep. which was just as good as the one from bella notta mm. we liked the little kiddie size one and they're five euros each yep, that was lovely actually that yeah. was really nice mm. The um, other thing I would say, actually, we did this a couple of times. We actually ate in the bars in one in Newport Bay yes. and the other in Sequoia Lodge. Yep. And we actually had, because they don't do meals there, they're like snacks. We had wings in Sequoia Lodge. We did that twice. They were amazing they wings. They were lovely, yeah. Like seven wings, I think. Um, you get barbecue sauce. The wings aren't actually saucy as such. They're more dryish, aren't they? But they're really flavoursome. Really, really, and really, really hot. Tasty, they were yeah. really good. And we also had a cheese and meat platter there. No, oh, cheese board there. Cheese board. That, that was which that was, was okay, really wasn't nice. It? Yeah. And then we had baguettes in Newport Bay one evening. Hot baguettes. They came out so fast. It was so nice just to escape the parks. We sat opposite um, the New York Hotel. Yeah, with a view going yeah, over the water. Yeah, and I, I had a roasted vegetable baguette. I think you went for bacon and my, cheese or something. Mine was almost equivalent for BLT. Oh, that was um, it. So and it was it's just really nice. It was, do you know when you just need something a little bit, I don't want to say normal, it mm. was really, really, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, so that was our snacks and we really enjoyed them, didn't we? The one that was on our list, we made a list before we go, went. Oh, there's something else I've got. What was that? You say yours and I've got something okay. else I've forgotten we didn't have. 
Um, it, there was a dessert plate. If you are there, oh. try and grab it. It's in a little place called Victoria's, which is at the top of Main Street. As you walk from Main Street towards the castle, it's on the right-hand side. It, according to details when we were there, it didn't open till one. However, we never saw it open until our last day and we were just leaving the park. Yeah, they do and there was a queue, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, they do a dessert plate, either $5 or $9. And these desserts are like little mini pieces of art. They look amazing. Mm. So try and grab one of those. And it's for the 50th celebration. What were you going to say? The other one I was going to mention as well was, I can't remember where I actually picked up in a couple of places. Um, when we, oh, what did we, I can't remember what we got. When we got our little cakes that when we, we got, like. Was it the, no, no it we wasn't got, then. Oh, okay. We got those as well, the little... Yeah, we got we did it last time as well. We stopped and got coffee at the little shop um, that we like. We like that, don't yeah. we? You can grab your coffee outside the shops as yeah, well. Yeah, and it's um, just the little booth by um, the... Frontierland again. Yeah, opposite um, Big Thunder Mountain. And they just do little individually wrapped Mickey cakes. They're, what, what do they call Because they're a very French thing, aren't they? Mm, I know there's some really supermarkets like over them. here. But they're not just Mickey two euros ones, 99. Yeah. We grabbed a coffee and we sat but in Frontierland, which yep. was really nice. The one I was going to mention was my cookie that I had. Mm. And I tried this a couple of times. And this is also for people that are either vegetarian or vegan. Um, it was a uh, hazelnut. Was it hazelnut? And cho was it chocolate as well, wasn't yeah, it? it was. Yeah, hazelnut and chocolate chip um, cookie. And it was a vegan cookie. It was for the 50th celebration as well, wasn't it? Yeah, and just so for people to be aware, there are options there for vegetarians, vegans. Uh, check the menus. But this cookie, I think, was probably one of my nicest snacks I had mm, there. Really? We've actually got one in the cupboard because I bought one back oh, and I've still yeah, got it. Yeah, it was quite so, big as well, wasn't and it, was, it? It was quite nice. And again, it, it was wrapped. So it was actually, it, it kept yeah. it. Uh, so that's why I've still got one to eat. But that was thoroughly enjoyable. But for people who are wondering maybe about different choices for different things, there are options there. Um, which is nice to see so mm. but I think that's it I, let us know if you've been over what snacks did you find and see um, I think it just varies all the time as to what's open and what's available I think still at the moment it's just be aware of when things are open as well mm. just as a thing just to um, just check opening times of places as well because some of them shut like early, limited. they shut earlier than you may think so if you think oh I'll come back and get that um, just, just, just check because don't be surprised if it's actually closed mm, before we, the park's closed. So yeah. But we hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing these Disneyland Paris videos with you. I think it's going to be in about three weeks. We'll start yep. getting these up. Yep. But let us know if you've got a trip coming up to Disneyland Paris. Um, we haven't booked another yet. No. I would like to be able to go over for Christmas, not for Christmas, but for the Christmas it's Christmas time, so when that the decorations are up nice. again, something cosy about mm. being there when it's cold. Let's let us know what your plans are. But thanks for watching. We'll Thank see you, you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Just want to take back what I said about the ears being my favourite purchase. I forgot I purchased this stitch sweatshirt, and this is my favourite purchase this trip.